Welcome to my Pictory AI tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to use Pictory and it's a pretty simple process. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link in the description and if you've already gotten started for free and feel like upgrading, I will leave a coupon code down below in the description in case you want easier access to it. It's going to be W5TT3 that will allow you to save some money should you want to upgrade. All right, now let's get that out of the way and let's begin. For this, we're gonna be utilizing the script to video here. If you've got this down, you're pretty much gonna be very good to go if you wanna create those faceless YouTube videos or just any type of video for whatever purpose you need. Let's click on proceed right here under script to video. And as a little extra bonus, I'm just gonna go into ChatGPT and give you a very quick prompt that you can utilize when it comes to creating a quicker video. So here I am in ChatGPT. This one's just gonna be a little bit shorter just so it doesn't take longer to go into, but I'd like you to write an article that is about 250 words long. You can obviously add many more if needed. It's about how to increase your vertical so that you can dunk. So it's gonna be about how to add in something that you wanna talk about. It's gonna be about how you can increase your putting so that you score lower, you know, something like that. And at the end, add a call to action where someone can click the link in the description for a highly recommended vertical jump resource. Keep in mind, this would be for a YouTube video, so at the end, we're gonna have a call to action and whatever it's going to be for, obviously that's where you can send them. This could be great for like ClickBank offers or anything related to that. So let's create this very quickly. All right, and so just like that, it is done. Overall, it looks pretty good, and what I'm gonna do is just copy all of this. Keep in mind, you don't have to use ChatGPT. If you already have something, you can utilize that, but just kind of showcasing you know, what it's gonna look like, because we do wanna edit it around a little. Now let's enter our video name. Okay, so what I like doing here is breaking it up a good amount, and I'll even use ellipses to just kind of get like the person to understand that there's going to be more, say, on the next slide. So I like doing usually about one sentence. Sometimes it can be a little bit longer, depending on what it is. So increasing your vertical jump to achieve the dream of dunking isn't about genetics. Next would be it's about dedication and the right training. So let's do this one. This is a little bit longer of a sentence, but that's fine. Next, we want first focus on building length strength, okay? And we can go to the next one. Overall, ideally, what you'd probably want to do here is just like, you know, if the sentences are smaller, you can always change them up. And good, this is going to be about plyometrics. And I'm just kind of like reading through, making sure that everything looks good. Don't overlook your core and upper body. And we have some exercises here. And pretty good. So... That's what it's gonna be looking like. Ideally, you don't wanna have something that's gonna be like five sentences in each slide. That's why I don't like, I don't have too many that are a little bit longer. This is probably the only one, which is fine. And for the scene settings, you can do auto highlight keywords and it says create scenes on. You can do sentence breaks or line breaks. You know, both is gonna be fine, but I just like sorting it that way. It's just something I've grown to do so that it doesn't look like a very long essay. And you don't get a ton of words on every single slide. So this looks great. Let's click on proceed. And it's going to take some time in order to create the storyboard, add the vid visuals, the videos, the script, and so on and so forth. Once that is done, I will get right back to you and we will carry on. All right, and so if we look at the scenes on the left right here, you're going to notice that it looks perfect exactly like we did. This one has a line break where it just goes into the next one after the ellipses here. This is pretty much going to be the only scene that's a little bit longer. Okay, and then we have the other ones, shorter and choppier sentences, which is great. Like lastly, practice jumping. Looks like this person is jumping. So just looking at it right here from a perspective of the scenes, they look pretty good if you ask me. They're all look related and so on and so forth. So what we can do is actually go through, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but I'm gonna go here and just kind of preview it for you so you can see what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna stop it there. What we can also do is obviously add some voiceovers, which I will get to, but as we go through, we can take a look at these and say like, are they good? That's ideally what you wanna do first when it comes to jumping higher. So for this one, dedication and the right training, like it looks like someone's gonna be jumping there. Let's say we wanted to change this one. What we can do is visuals. And for this, like something like this would probably be great. You know, we can do this one. So let's click on this. And just like that, that's probably gonna be a much better one because we're talking about someone dunking, right? Perfect. And I like how their library got 10 times larger, which is always a good thing based upon, I think the last time I reviewed this was maybe a year or so, maybe a little bit less, but it's nice to see there are a lot of improvements, okay? So that's how you're gonna go about and change any of these. So what you wanna do is look through, make sure that they actually operate or are based upon someone that's perfect. Like they wanna get better leg strength or jumping. This one here, squats, lunges, and calf raises, perfect. What do we have for this one? 
Target the muscles necessary for explosive power. This person's jump roping, great. Once again, looks like they're jumping. I'm gonna go through a little bit quicker. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but we do know how to change those if needed. We just simply click on the one we wanna change. We type in, say, let's do a squat. And perfect, there's just tons of them. Now keep in mind that some of these are, as you can see, are gonna have the watermarks, but if you have a paid plan, it's not gonna be there when you go to export, just so you know. Next, we have audio in case we wanna add any of this. This is gonna be applied here. Let's say we don't wanna add that. What we can do is just click play to check it out. Okay. And obviously how you would do that is simply add apply if you wanna do that. I'm not gonna do it since it's gonna talk over me and a lot of the voiceover action I wanna show you, which is pretty important, right? So let's say we're starting from here. We have our voiceovers. So there's gonna be plenty here. Let's say we wanna go with Adam. Allow the world to live as it chooses and allow yourself to- Okay, Anthony. Logic will get you from A to B. And Brian. We have committed the golden rule to- I'm gonna go with Adam. Let's say we wanna use Adam. Let's click on apply. It says generating hyper realism for your project will notice will notify you when your premium voice is applied. So let's give it a second and then it will add these to our actual video. All right, great. So voiceover applied. Let's say we just want to go to this scene and we can test this one out. Let's go to preview. It's going to give it a sec to add it in and preview the video. It's about dedication and the right training. Okay, so here's an example if we wanted to change that. There's something else you might be maybe curious about. You'll notice how on this one we have our AI voice. We can remove a voiceover on this specific one if we want to, so we can do that. And the reason I'm bringing it up is specifically because what we can do is upload a voiceover. So if you have a separate software and you want to utilize that, what you can also do is record your own voiceover. So it's going to be interesting given the fact I'm already recording it, but I'll show you how it's done. Let's go to record. And what we want to do is press on record. We're going to say what's stated right there and then stop it. It's about dedication and the right training. There we go. Let me just do it again because I had to do apply there. So let's go cancel. And once again, let's go back over, record voiceover. It's about dedication and the right training. And let's do save or just do apply. Great, now that it's done, what we wanna do, say it shows applied to scene two, let's just preview it so we can listen to it. It's about dedication and the right training. Perfect, so that's how you can actually go in and add your own voiceover if you wanna do that. So we now know how to kind of scroll through, make sure the videos are gonna be appropriate towards what we're talking about. We know how to change the voiceovers and the sound if we need to. Now we can kind of scroll through and check out some of the styles if needed. So styles library overall is just gonna be what you see right here. If you like this specific tile, tile. <laughs> if you like this specific text and the color, I think I combined those words together. Uh, let's say we want to use something like this. We can click on it and you'll notice it's going to change that. Now what we can do if we want to use it for all of them, we can click on this button to apply all scenes. Let's say we don't like it though. There's going to be the undo button right here. We can click on this and just like that, it is back to normal. So that's a very easy way to go about say editing a style that you want to do. If there's something that catches your eye, you like the color, simply run with it. However, there is the ability to add branding if you really want to match your brand. What you can do is go right here with branding. And I've already created one, but I deleted it just to show you what it looks like when you're starting from scratch. Let's click on create a brand. And once again, create a brand. So we have Marketing Island. I'm just gonna use Marketing Island for this. Let me upload my logo very quickly. Now it's probably gonna be good if you use a transparent logo. If you happen to have a logo and it's not transparent, here's a great website for you. I'm gonna show you in case you're not familiar with. All right, so this website is remove.bg and it allows you to remove the background image. And you can get, I think, one for free if you sign up. And after that, you can only get small images that are gonna be transparent, which isn't a big deal because when you're utilizing this, you're not gonna need a massive logo. It's pretty much just gonna be a watermark. So that's something to keep in mind. So if you want something to remove a background, that's gonna be a website for you. All right, back to the video. So we have brand colors here. And what's cool about this is we can click on add color. If we go to eyedropper right here, we can just kind of hover over our logo and click on that and that's going to be good. Let's do another color, right? We can click on the eyedropper. Let's go with the green right in the middle. There we go. 
And if we want to go with black, I think that looks fine. Kind of the yellowy orange and the green and the brand font. If you have a specific font that you like to use, there is one. I don't remember the name, but if I see it, I'll probably know. Yeah, Lato, I like that one. So you can choose your brand font. Let's click on create. All right, and so there we are. Like this is gonna be the logo. That's gonna be the colors. You'll notice how that's gonna be like the transparent logo, which is why it's good to have that. There's gonna be some other things in case you wanna utilize those, but if we wanna use this in that specific video that we already did, we can click on save and apply. It says, hold on, brand changes will be applied to all scenes. Do you wanna go ahead? Sure, why not? Let's click on continue. And just like that, brand applied successfully at the top, and you'll notice that it's gonna have more of our color. So the background's kinda of gonna be like more of that orange, and it's gonna be a little bit more blue as opposed to green, which is fine. I don't think that would be a good match, but it also does have the kind of watermark there, which is a good thing in case anyone wants to steal, you know, some of the videos that you do, which happens all the time. Let's actually go to the end where it says like, uh, let's see. Ready to take your vertical to the next level. For this one, say we wanna like change this. So what we can do is go to once, I think we know how to do this, right? Visuals, let's do dunk once again. And let's do this one. And then the last one, it says, click the link in the description for our highly recommended vertical jump resource and start dunking like a pro. Once again, I think a dunk one's gonna be great here and perfect. Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like when you add your brand, when you change around the colors. And we have a few more things here. We have some elements that you can utilize. There are gonna be some features in case you wanna add anything like this. For me personally, I'm usually not gonna use things like this. I just think it's like a little bit extra. If you want the aesthetics and so on and so forth, you can simply just drag them in. We have some stickers, we have GIFs, we have emojis, and so on and so forth. In fact, what we could do, let's see, maybe we have an arrow down. Okay, we have Arrow. <laughs> That's funny. We have a, a zombie. That's from Arrow. Uh, I'm familiar with that movie, which is why it's funny. Check out the direct tools down below. Let's see. Anything that's just pointing down. How about featured? Any arrows here? There's right, left. There's Where's the up and down ones? Emojis. Let's do that. Arrow. There we go. Let's just say we want to use something like that. What we can do is click on it, and there we go. Something like that would be like, you know, click the link down below in the description. That would just, oops, I think I added two. Let's delete that. That would just kind of like say, hey, look down there in the description. So all in all, that's going to be a very quick overview when it comes to the Pictory.ai tutorial. It is pretty simple once you know how to do it. I think the biggest thing in the beginning is going to be with your script in general. Make sure you just kind of chop it up so that it's not super long in terms of text. Like this is probably going to be the longest one and that's fine. But I think it looks better when you kind of break it up into smaller bite-sized pieces where it's going to be much easier for Pictory to pick up on what you're talking about. Okay. So if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you haven't gotten the test out, Pictory. I will leave my link in the description, of course, where you can try it out for free. And if you want to upgrade, this is going to be the coupon code W5TT3. And using that will allow you to save a good amount of money when upgrading to a paid Pictory pricing plan. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.